is CGTN, China Global Television Network. Europe's energy landscape is changing. The EU wants to harness the power of the sun, wind and water as it pursues an ambitious target to become climate neutral. And Chinese companies are on the ground, playing a huge role in helping shape that more sustainable future. We're going on a journey round some of the most spectacular parts of Europe. to witness how two ancient cultures are collaborating to create a new, clean, green energy system. We'll meet ordinary people who are benefiting. See how the old and the new are working side by side. Visit a local community brought together by using Chinese technology to control its own destiny. And hear how, whatever the political tensions, working together on green energy could help build trust between China and Europe. If we keep our relationship strong, if we have strong exchanges, mutual benefits of this relationship, I can absolutely imagine that China's role um, will be um, key and uh, very important for European Union um, energy transition. linking Europe and China together. Thousands of products arrive by container each week, including solar panels. China produces the overwhelming majority of the world's supply, and sun-drenched Spain has used them to turn itself into one of the biggest solar power producers in Europe. I'm approaching the ancient city of Segovia. It's uh, about an hour outside of Madrid, northwest of Madrid. And it is a stunning UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, it's got extraordinary architecture and infrastructure that dates back to Roman times. Oh, and wow, look at that. Coming into the city, look at that gate. Incredible. I want to stop, but, well, you can't, we're on a road. It is beautiful. Amazing. Segovia's fairy tale castle was one of Walt Disney's inspirations. Its flamboyant Gothic cathedral has been called the country's most beautiful. And its Roman aqueduct is an extraordinary piece of engineering, nearly 2,000 years old. Sitting on the plain just outside the city is some modern Chinese technology. Hundreds of those solar panels helping power Spain's electricity grid, built and run by one of the world's biggest renewable energy companies, China Three Gorges. I've got my special shoes on, so I'm, <laughs> it's safe for me to enter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jose Mora manages this and seven other CTG sites around the country. Now, Jose, they're very upright, the panels. Is that, I mean, do they, do they flatten out? Do they follow the sun? Is that why they're so upright at the moment? Yes, when the sun is moving, the yeah. tracker is follow the sun and it's always 19 degrees. Yeah, and so it's automatic? Automatic, yes. Oh. It's moving, it's moving ah. the, tra the tracker. 
Okay. L little by little, step by step. A solar plant like this employs fewer people than an old-fashioned fossil fuel burning power station would. But Jose understands times have changed. Do people want to come and work here? Because it's solar, you know, do they want to work for CTG? Because it's solar and it's wind and it's helping, you know, with green yes. energy. Yes, well, we are pushing uh, that uh, all the sector, the wind and solar mm. uh, projects, um, pushing to, to a, a good future for this planet. Yeah. So skilled, worthwhile jobs. Although when he visits, Jose travels here from his home in Seville. This is the control room. We have the CCT camera here in this part, and another part we have the Scala. And is it all local people that, that work here? Yes, this is, they are local. They are very close from here. Yeah. Uh, it's maybe 10 minutes or 15 mm -hmm. minutes to, to get here. Mm. But for you, how many hours? <laughs> Six hours. Six hours. <laughs> if there's any problem, <laughs> we need more. Okay. <laughs> you need a very fast car or a train. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Some renewable energy sites have been controversial in Spain because of the way they use agricultural land. So when the shepherd appeared, it was an opportunity to find out more. Is he happy that he's got he can graze his sheep on this land? Pues sí, yo estoy muy contento. Yo llevamos aquí dos años ya y no he tenido ningún problema nunca y con los chicos que trabajan aquí y eso que es con los que más contacto tengo, pues siempre están dispuestos a cualquier cosa y muy bien. Well, that's the the old ways, the ancient ways and the new technology, you know, working together. Yes, yes, um, it's amazing to mix the old um, technology <laughs> and this and the, the new one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've never heard sheep described as technology, but yeah, why not? But this isn't just a story about technology, four-legged or otherwise. Nor is it just about Chinese companies profiting from Spain's abundant renewable resources. I'm heading to a second CTG site in northern Spain. Now, the EU has said, it's made a pretty bold and ambitious statement, that it wants to be the first climate-neutral continent. But that's going to take substantial investment. And that's where the Chinese companies come in. In this wild region, there seem to be ranks of wind turbines on every horizon. Not all of them Chinese, obviously, but there is substantial investment here, too. This is a part of Las Loras in northern Spain, globally recognised for its spectacular gorges, limestone plateaus and even prehistoric art and monuments. It's interesting to think that this ancient land, with evidence of tens of thousands of years of human history, is playing a role in tackling the greatest challenge our civilization faces. It's also a part of rural Spain that's seen decline and depopulation as people leave to find work. It's very quiet. So how many people live in the village? 24. Oh, 24? Yes. Only. How, yeah, only, yeah. <laughs> and how many um, are your family? Uh, five. Just five. You, brother? Uh, mother, uncle. Am I? Ah, okay. Oh, I think I see Molinas, my new Spanish word, windmill. Former mechanic Jorge, who manages the site, is someone who's benefited from having CTG's wind farm on his doorstep. Jorge, I'm seeing a lot of empty houses here. If it wasn't for the for the wind farm, would there be fewer jobs here for everybody? Sí, tendría que haberme buscado la vida en otro trabajo, como estuve trabajando fuera, hasta que montaron los molinos y pude venirme al pueblo. Otra vez. The hundred turbines here can provide enough power for nearly half a million households, nudging Europe towards its carbon target, and creating a big responsibility for Jorge and his boss Adolfo. So this is Jorge's site. He he looks after this area. But what you you come to check on the efficiency every now and again? Yes, uh, he is Jorge, that there are the person in charge of the maintenance of the wind farm every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm Adolfo Martinez, I'm the Wind Performance Engineering from CTG and I uh, visit him once time per month more or less mm -hmm. to review all the performance of the wind assets and all the, the problems that maybe have occurred in the, in the month. So here you are, two Spanish guys working for a, a Chinese company. What do you think of that? And I think this is very special because we have uh, to increase my expertise of the wind technology and we have to communicate with the other part of the world how, how, how they can see the world and how they can uh, move forward the transition between the, all the kind of uh, energies to the new energies, renewable energies. So this is the first wind farm I've ever been to. And the wind's really getting up now and you can hear that whooshing sound. It's, quite, it's actually quite relaxing, I'm quite surprised. But, I don't know, they are everywhere. And they're, you know, in the distance, all the way to horizon, they're all the way along the, the hills. And I grew up in the countryside and I'm, I'm just not, I'm not sure how I feel about them sitting in the landscape like this. I mean, I know there are, you know, they're, they're gonna be one of the solutions to our energy issues, but Look, Paul, the cameraman, said to me, they're quite majestic, so obviously he's okay with it. But look, a little bit later on, we're going to go down and see the, to the local village, Jorge's village, and we're going to speak to the mayor. And yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm going to ask them, how do they feel about it? Before that, there were more sheep this time owned by the local mayor himself, who told me he sells all the wool from this special Castilian breed to Chinese customers. So he's well disposed to China already. But it's clear the turbines are welcome. Do people mind that these giant structures are on the landscape? Does it annoy them? Que aquí al principio, cuando se estaban poniendo los molinos, o cuando se querían poner los molinos, pues había unos grupucos por ahí que iban siempre Pues, pues en contra de todo, en contra de los molinos, en contra de las placas solares, en contra de, de construir tal, tal. Y ya cuando se les acababan los argumentos, que no, no nos sabían por qué decir que los molinos no eran buenos, que era, no, es que no son buenos por el impacto visual. El impacto visual, yo miro donde sea, yo miro un molino, miro un árbol, miro un coche, miro un camión, es un, no hay impacto visual. Eavesdropping on a chat with some of the locals in his nearby bar, it was clear they're also happy to see the turbines on their hillsides. Claro, económicamente tienes un presupuesto mayor y puedes aspirar a hacer alguna cosa más. Lo que más creo que ha influido el parque es obras que eran impensables poderlas realizar se han logrado realizar. Arreglos de iglesias, arreglos de tal que estaban caídas, caminos, o caminos infraestructuras que era impensable entonces, porque antes cada vez que íbamos a hacer una obra teníamos que poner dinero casi del bolsillo. Otra cosa que pasa es que al hacer eso pues se van arreglando casas, hay más compraventa de viviendas, hay más tal, y es una oportunidad para el que quiere venir. So how many villages are you the mayor of here and how has this wind farm helped, you know, in terms of jobs and infrastructure? Somos 14 núcleos urbanos, pero 12 pedanías, 12 pueblos. Y esto, bueno, en un principio, pues nos ha ayudado, mmm, hemos salido de, de, de la pobreza, de, de la miseria que teníamos aquí. Porque bueno, en cuanto llegaron los, 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 el parque eólico, pues luego, eh, primero, cuando estaban construyendo, dio riqueza a la zona. Al construirla, mucho trabajo, eh, gente de los pueblos que iba a trabajar las obras, mucho trabajo. Y después ya cuando estaba funcionando, pues solamente el ayuntamiento, que es al que yo soy el alcalde, solamente en impuestos, el, los impuestos que, que tienen que pagar cualquier empresa, tiene que pagar los impuestos, nos viene muy bien, porque con esos, a todos los vecinos, eh, tienen el, el internet, el internet gratis porque se lo paga el ayuntamiento. El ayuntamiento se lo paga porque cobra de los molinos. ¿Eh? Nosotros hacemos actividades sociales, tenemos fisioterapia a todos los vecinos gratis, tenemos eh, viajes, tenemos un montón de actividades y todo gracias a, al molino. So that's the view on the ground, but these turbines and solar panels fit into a much bigger picture in which Europe is trying to radically cut carbon emissions while it's divided over how close a relationship it wants with China which may be key to achieving its climate goal. 
CTG's European boss is open about some of the political headwinds companies like his are facing. This geopolitical situation is uh, triggering, um, I would say, more demanding regulation, especially in Europe, in the market that we are uh, sort of um, operating. So things are harder now. So it's not that they are getting, but they are harder now. I think that in the previous uh, two transactions that we uh, sort of um, ask authorization, we already witnessed uh, an increasing level of scrutiny with uh, the, European, uh, the European Commission asking more questions. Um, and and this, is, this is a trend that will uh, sort of continue. Yeah? With the new regulation uh, coming in, because uh, it was, uh, previously it was mainly focused on uh, foreign direct investment uh, sort of control and monitoring, I think that there will be a new layer now with the uh, foreign subsidies regulation. Um, and that, that will make sort of uh, deals harder yeah? for a company like CTE. But CTG has become one of the top five renewable companies in Spain, and its experience there suggests outright collaboration isn't always the only way to achieve common objectives. The Spanish government has a very clear position that they uh, sort of uh, made very clear to us, which is, look, we are, we're not a partner. We manage uh, sort of investors and investments uh, in, the, uh, in the country. Um, so they are not a consultant, they are not an advisor. So I would say that it's a constructive uh, relationship with the Spanish government, not a collaborative relationship in the sense of uh, we are an investor and they are sort of the government that sets the, the regulatory framework in which we operate. Um, but, but it's a very constructive relationship and I think that uh, we, we got um, support from the Spanish government in developing our strategy and, and finding ways to uh, sort of uh, to, uh, to, to maneuver in this very complex geopolitical environment. China itself now has more large-scale solar capacity than the rest of the world combined and is set to beat its own 2030 target for renewable energy five years ahead of schedule. In Europe, nearly 90% of solar panels and more than 60% of wind turbines are imported from China and the EU wants to become more self-sufficient in renewable technology. So we also made a side trip to ask an expert with deep knowledge of both European and Chinese policy how he sees China's role in Europe's energy transition. I think Chinese contribution to the green energy transition, whether it's in Europe or worldwide, is massive. Um, most of the um, solar panels in the world come from China, so there's no way to go around China. A lot of the wind equipment that is necessary comes from China. Battery equipment, what we need for energy storage, comes from China. So a lot of the existing technologies, technologies that we know for, that we need for the energy transition are very, very dominated um, by China. So without China, currently the energy transition in Europe is most likely um, delayed and we don't even know whether it's really possible. There are these efforts to diversify our supply chains, but this is gonna take time. It's not gonna take uh, immediate effect. So over the next years, um, we will see kind of what type of policies um, can be doled out also between China and the European Union to strengthen this relationship, ideally, or of course, ideally not um, to weaken it. <music> High politics are a long way from this small village in eastern Spain, but it's using Chinese solar technology to become self-sufficient in energy. On the morning we arrived, the 27 residents who had banded together to fund the project had a briefing on its first week of operation. And then went on to celebrate in fine Spanish style. They'd each committed not just money, but their own time and effort. No, entonces, ya desde el principio, los socios han participado, pues poniendo sus tractores con sus palas para poder hacer el cemento y poder poner el vallado. O participando, intentando generar las redes sociales, pues eh, gestionar las redes sociales. Eh, otras personas, pues viniendo con sus guantes, sus picos, sus palas, para quitar las hierbas del entorno. ¿no? Entonces, personas que en principio no tenían conexión, se han conectado eh, a través de este proyecto y luego paralelamente eh, ha generado empleo porque se ha constituido una asesoría a raíz de, 
de la propia, de la propia comunidad. ¿no? Entonces ha sido un primer paso para generar empleo en el, en el territorio, en el territorio de nuestro pueblo. Engineer Carlos was originally from the village and returned after many years working abroad to become one of the three people who set up this small solar plant. He told me it not only saves the investors money, but also gives them autonomy and other benefits which could be copied elsewhere. Sí, es, es como digo, una esperanza para las pequeñas villas o los pequeños pueblos para que sufren de, de una despoblación o de un cierto abandono, ¿no? sobre todo de, con una visión de aquí a 10, 15, 20 años, eh, que, que les genere un, un movimiento social y también un movimiento económico que cree oportunidades para, para las zonas rurales y las pequeñas poblaciones y, y, bueno, y sea esa esperanza para, para un crecimiento futuro. The energy it's giving this community clearly isn't just electrical. Felices. Y orgullosos de tener unos panelistas del grupo que ha movido todo esto. Orgullosos. Muy esperado, sí, sí. Y muy deseado también. Will it change the village? Will it will it help? Va a cambiar el pueblo. Va a ayudar. Yo creo que sí. Just thinking back to the village, it's quite a tiny project really compared with some of the other ones we're looking at. But I suppose it shows that this technology can not just deliver green energy, but it also promotes new ways of collaborating at a really local level. Collaboration between China and Europe is very much on the mind of Margaret Chen, a woman who has been closely involved in promoting China-Spain business links for many years. What do you think Europeans need help with understanding about China that they might not know, and, and, and vice versa? Yeah, Spanish people do need to open more mind to the Eastern culture, you know. I think that Spanish people has historically very tight relation with Latin America country and the towards West, you know. So now I think that it is important also to look at the Oriental culture, try to understand, you know, Chinese people uh, still, they have lots of impression about 100 years ago, you know, or 70 years ago. So China now is so different. So I think it is necessary to understand, you know, to, to be more open. And what role do you think China plays in that? How important is well, their role? China also needs to do its work, you know? Because I think maybe in the last, let's say, century, we caught the one century of Chinese uh, humiliation, you know? So people get very uh, humble. People are uh, not confident enough. Now I see a tendency which is the other side. I don't think it is good. I think we all need to be uh, open-minded, and every country has, every culture has its something to learn, you know? And so I think that China now being stronger and being powerful, and China still need this humble to get to know, because Europe is a very, very uh, old continent. And Europe has lots of history, lots of knowledge, management, lots of things that China can learn. So when was this um, plant developed? It was uh, 2019. Okay. Collaboration takes many forms. In the UK, it includes helping the national electricity grid cope yeah. with the fluctuating supply of solar and wind power. More renewables means much more storage is needed, and here too, Chinese companies, which make most of the world's batteries, have a key role. So what am I looking at? These are battery modules, okay. and each module has uh, more than 16 battery cells inside. Right. The modules in these boxes in a field in southern England are run by China Huaning and can provide power to up to 40,000 homes almost instantly. The sun or the solar or the, the wind power to uh, disappear. Uh, 
suddenly, so they need the battery storage to discharge power within one second. So this task is very tough, only the battery storage can provide. The company has a good relationship with its landlord, a former Conservative Party minister, but it had to win people over when it first started construction. The other challenge is that uh, we are the, the first uh, team to the UK to make such a such construction. We must to obtain the, the trust from the residents and the local authority to make them to believe that uh, the battery storage station is uh, it's an ecological system. It's a friendly to the environment. So because at that, that time, nobody know this because there's very rarely in England such big a battery storage product. Hungary was the first EU country to sign up to China's Belt and Road Initiative. The capital Budapest, straddling the Danube River, is steeped in history and tradition. So before heading to visit some of the numerous Chinese companies that have set up here, we had to get a taste of the Hungarian culture they're mixing with. This is the biggest market in Budapest. Undercover too, which is nice, because there's a bit of rain around today. I'm actually on the lookout for some strudel. Apparently it's the best in the world, but I'm working as well, as you can see. <gasps> I've seen strudel. <laughs> is this the best, though? <gasps> it is the best strudel. Can I maybe get two pieces of the um, apple with the cinnamon, please? One for me and one for the cameraman. If it's really good, it might just be two pieces for me and none for the cameraman, we'll see. Mmm, it's a little bit warm. Oh, delicious. Thank you. Okay. I can carry on now. Sandwiched between Ukraine and Romania in the east and Austria in the west, this is a country with a strong Central European identity, often at odds with the rest of the EU. But it's attracted substantial Chinese interest in recent years. Hungary is a relatively small country of less than 10 million people. But it is strategically placed to make a significant contribution to Europe's climate goals. And as I think we're about to discover, Chinese companies have found it an attractive place to invest. Look at that view. It's the Danube. Beautiful. We're just outside the city of Kopeshva in southwestern Hungary. Uh, this solar plant is one of the biggest in Central Europe. And Janos here, he's the plant manager, and he's taking us for a bit of a drive around the perimeter just to show us just how big this place is. And this isn't even the whole site. It produces 100 megawatts, enough to power all of Kopeshvar, a city of 60,000. The mayor, who encouraged CMC to invest in the area, saw the potential to achieve some of his key goals, starting with good jobs and high incomes. A harmadik nagyon jelentős cél, hogy 2030-ra Magyarországon a Kopeshvári polgárok legyenek az ország egyik legegészségesebb városa, és a negyedik nagyon fontos cél, hogy 2030-ig legyünk a legautó, lehető legnagyobb mértékben energia függetlenek, vagyis önmagunk termeljük meg az önmagunk számára szükséges energiát. Ha belegondol, a négy cél az összefügg, az utolsó, nem a sorrendben az utolsó, de a negyedik célról beszélünk, és egy 100 megawattos 
Napelem Park az maximálisan szolgálja ennek a közösségnek az érdekeit. It certainly served the interests of Mate, an engineering graduate who has a wife and two children to support. I went abroad for holidays. I looked at a couple of places, but I like it here in Hungary. I really like my home and uh, with a family I, I don't really want to move. And so I need a, a company that is that is stable. It gives a good salary. I can feel good about my work and it just provides it all. And so how many trees in total have you got around uh, here? 21. The site may be huge, but manager Janos also wanted to show me a charming detail. Behind the site office, a small orchard planted by the Chinese management. One tree for each of the 21 employees. Is it all Hungarian staff here? No, no, no. Um, uh, we were just together with the Chinese colleagues. So actually, this is uh, I, the part of the Chinese culture that when we, they are finishing something, they just want to mark it with a how to say that uh, uh, a thing which uh, which will, which will, which will show uh, our work uh, for the for the later generation. So, what's it like working for a, a Chinese company like CMC? Uh, before, uh, I, I have never worked for a Chinese company, so it was a very new experience for me. Actually, I started working for the company in 2020, uh, and uh, I found that uh, the Chinese culture is completely different uh, uh, from any others I have met before. So actually, uh, for me, it was a really positive experience, and what I would like to highlight that uh, uh, the Chinese uh, people, uh, how to say that uh, personality, what I think we have to learn, uh, let me say in our world, their patient, their attitude towards other, uh, and uh, and uh, I, I I also have to have to highlight that uh, they're hardworking, uh, capability, and they are never complaining. But I really like them. And it seems attitudes have developed as Hungarians and Chinese have got to know one another. We are also foreigner and the local people try their best to support us. And in the previously, maybe the Chinese products, Chinese investment, not so acceptable here. People will have very, um, have very less understanding about what we are doing. They are just thinking, okay, you are earning money here. So not so welcome. And now, they changed. So previously, maybe Chinese products or made in China have a have a tag that it means cheap, low quality. But now the Chinese production made made from China, made in China, it means that renewable sector. So renewable sector are full made from China, with good quality, with very efficient production period, and that bring our new green future. It's so nice to be chauffeur driven. Ah. If you've ever wondered about buying a fully electric vehicle, but well, you've been a bit put off by the inconvenience of that charging on the go, you know, that, that range anxiety, well, we've come to see a company that may have the answer, and part of the answer, to greening Europe's transport. And no, it's not just about the car, although it is very nice. It's not even just about the battery, or how you charge it. So are these some of the stations ready to go somewhere? Yes, this is the PSS2 station, which is already done. So we are planning to ship out for Germany, Sweden, Norway and uh, Denmark, probably this year. Fantastic. In this plant in the outskirts of Budapest, Chinese company Neo has started producing something which is already quite familiar in China, but barely known in Europe. So right now we are in the phase in because the new station, the PSS3, is just arrived from China, and then uh, we are now producing the first parts. Wow, so this is a brand new generation. Absolutely. New technology. The technology is high-speed battery swapping. 
you drive your Neo car into one of these stations, which removes the depleted battery and swaps in a fully charged one, all in barely five minutes. The used battery is taken away to be recharged. We have a door under the car, which is moved in the left and the right side. And first, we are unscrew the battery belong the car, and then we take away. And then the new battery, it's just come up for the floating table. So right now, the fully charged battery is just arrived from the, from the, from the racks, from yeah. the storage. And then now the table is come up, and then with the screwdrivers, with the positioners. So now we are fixing the, fixing the battery, mm -hmm. and then we are preparing the, the screwing. And then we fix the batteries. So the old batteries here, down the here. The batteries here now is in the switched in the, over. New yeah, batteries this is the in. Exactly. It'll screw it all in. The doors will close, and I can go on my way. Exactly. Perfect. Wonderful. And that was what four and a half, five minutes. Yes. Amazing. Five. Incredible. How important is it to have this Chinese investment in in Hungary? Do you think? Yeah, it's really important because this is the first investment uh, for Neo in Europe. So the first factory uh, which is producing uh, power substation. So I think for Europe it's also really important because the parts what we are installing and then uh, and commissioning on the cities, so it's based on the Chinese knowledge and the Chinese drawings, but it's built in Hungary. So I have to say this is made in Hungary, this product, and then we are really proud that all of the 18 stations what we have in Europe, it's built here and then we are shipped to Europe. We get a lot, lot of support from the Hungary government. So they provide a very good space. And when we first ship the, the, the systems, and the major is coming here as well to, so uh, when we hire the people, they provide all the services. So I think they are, they are very uh, energized and they are very friendly to, 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 to help us. So this is one thing. And uh, secondly is we have to select a factory close to our major market. Uh, the Germany is the biggest one we are looking for, and uh, there is a North, uh, a North Europe, and so uh, Hungary is not uh, far from, the, from Europe, and uh, it will help us to save a lot of things like the transportation cost. The, the, the swap station is pretty big. And uh, also we can provide uh, a training and all the technical support uh, for the whole, whole Europe. So based on that, we feel this is a yeah, relatively lower cost country, very friendly and close to the main market we have. Yeah, so that's the reason pretty much we select here. Other EV companies like Tesla have abandoned battery swapping, saying it's not a large scale solution to range anxiety. But NEO believes it has a future, and swapping stations can also act as battery storage for the grid, like small scale versions of the China Huaneng plant we visited in the UK. You know, there are a lot of renewable energy, right? The photovoltaic, the wind. So if we can integrate our swap stations with all those renewable energy systems, so uh, that will, will help, for example, reduce the pressures to the grid, right? More stabilize the grid, we can contribute as well. With more and more switch stations built, uh, the more and more capability we have. So now it is still small, we only have several of them, uh, but we are continuously to investigate and develop technology, work with the local societies, uh, universities, to explore the possibility here. Sprawling city of Athens. We've actually got it on a clear day, which is nice, because I wanted to show you, we've got the Acropolis, the ancient part of Athens there, and then in the distance is the Port of Piraeus, one of the biggest in Europe. And uh, it's where the road part of China's Belt and Road comes to shore. Huge volumes of cargo come through the port, but even in Greece, the Belt and Road isn't just about trade. As with that rail terminus in Madrid, it plays a significant role in helping transform Europe's economy into one that's a lot greener and more sustainable. No more chauffeur, I'm back to driving myself. I'm heading for Macedonia in northern Greece, 
famous for its peach blossoms and stunning mountains. But I'm going to see our third and final plant run by China Three Gorges and to meet a man whose life has been transformed by working there. Oh, I think we need some wind turbines here as well as some solar. <laughs> Cosmos, hello. Welcome. Thank you, good to meet you. So you started as a security guard, and now what? Are you like the boss? You're running the place. Όχι ακριβώς αφεντικό. Ξεκίνησα ως φύλακας πριν περίπου 10 χρόνια για το λόγο ότι το 2009 και το 2008 λόγω της οικονομικής κρίσης σταμάτησε η οικοδομή. Ο εργασιακός τομέας έπεσε πάρα πολύ χαμηλά και αναγκάστηκα να κάνω ένα κατεύθυνση στον επαγγελματικό μου τομέα. Με αποτέλεσμα να επιλέξω τη δουλειά του φύλακα γιατί ήταν ένα ουσιαστικό παράγοντα γιατί μου άρεσε η ασφάλεια. When I met Costas' bosses, they told me why they were so impressed with him. They promoted him from security guard to running the whole site. He showed from the beginning that he's a, he's a person of absolute trust. You could see that he, he gave his best in this station, even from the position of security guard. To have a local man you trust while you're all the way down in Athens must be fantastic. It is fantastic because Costas, for us, is our eyes in the area. We are sure that everything happens. He's our first level support here. Everything that happens, he communicates directly with us. We coordinate how we react in each situation, but Costas is the person here that he will communicate with the local subcontractors, with the municipality, if we need some authorization to do something, Kostas is the person who will make the first level approach. This part of Greece is stunning and gets 300 days of sunshine a year. But setting up a renewable energy plant is obviously about far more than just the local climate. Why does CTG want to invest in Greece? Uh, because uh, uh, both uh, of these countries, uh, Greek and China, uh, uh, is uh, uh, the country with uh, ancient uh, celebration uh, in the world. And uh, the bilateral relationship is very uh, stable. Uh, and uh, uh, the people of these two countries uh, are very uh, friendly to each other. Why did you build the solar plant here in Nausa? Because Nausa government uh, gave us a lot of uh, support, support meant, uh, such as uh, land and uh, road uh, construction, such as uh, the uh, transmission line construction. And uh, uh, we uh, find some more uh, opportunity to expand our uh, plant uh, in future. If the Greeks have been as hospitable to the Chinese as Costas's family were to us, you can see the attraction. <laughs> but the appreciation's clearly mutual. So has the job, do you think your dad's job, has it helped your family? Of course. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. I'm very happy and happy that I work as an electrician in this position, which I have the position of 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 the position and I take the job with a zeal and a zeal προς τους υπόλοιπους ε, συναδέλφους των εταιριών των οποίων έρχονται ε, στους σταθμούς. Ε, μας βοήθησε πάρα πάρα πολύ, ε, άλλαξε όλη η ζωή μας. Ε, πρώτα απ' όλα ο, βιο, ο βιοπορισμός μας ε, μπήκε σε μια πολύ καλύτερη μοίρα, να το πω έτσι. Ε, τα χρήματα ήταν πολύ καλά, ε, το ωράριο εργασίας επίσης ε, πάρα πολύ βολικό. China's Belt and Road has just turned 10 years old. It's often called the New Silk Road, reflecting the links between Europe and China that go back many centuries. And if you know where to look, you can see how the greening of Europe's energy system can be viewed as relearning lessons understood long ago. This is Olynthus, possibly the first purpose-made solar city in Europe. Two and a half thousand years ago, these streets were laid out and houses were developed and built to make the most of the power of the sun. So-called passive solar was all that was available to them. But now there's a huge drive in Europe to not only harness the power of the sun, but all renewable energy, wind and water too. 
And as we've seen, Chinese investment and Chinese technology will be key to making that happen.